Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perikariyi, Daf Chaf Zayin, Amud Bet, Chapter 4, page 27b. We're just going to start from... We're just going to start from... the last line of the previous page. The Rabbi Yirmiya Hechi Avid Hachi, how could Rabbi Yirmiya do that? Yirmiya do this. Baha Amar Rav Yoda Amar Rav, why Rav Yoda said in the name of Rav, the Alam Ali Palada Al Ipalel Adam, a person should never pray, Lo Keneged Rabo, neither alongside his Torah teacher, uh, because then it would appear that you're equal, Velo Achore Rabo, and not behind your your Torah teacher, because this would be a sign of haughtiness. Betanya, and it was taught in a Baraisa, Rabbi Eliezer Amer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Hami Palel Achore Rabbo, one who prays behind his Torah teacher, Baanot Sen Shalom Lo Rabbo, and one who greets his Torah teacher, like an ordinary person this is, Bamachazir Shalom Lo Rabbo, and who returns a greeting to his Torah teacher, like to an ordinary person, Behacholek al Yeshivato Shel Rabo, one who challenges the academy of his Torah teacher, Beha Omer Deva Shelo Shema Mi Pi Rabo, one who says something that he did not hear from his Torah teacher, Gorem Lashkina She Tistalek Mi Israel causes the divine presence to leave or depart from Israel. From Israel. Shani Rabbi Yirmiya Bar Abba, Rabbi Yirmiya Bar Abba was different to Tamid Chaver Hava, he was a student who was equal to Rav in knowledge. Bahainu Dekama Le Rabbi Yirmiya Bar Abba Le Rav, and this is what Rabbi Yirmiya Bar Abba said to Rav. <coughs> so uh, this is at the time when Rav was praying the Shabbos evening Marif, but he was praying it on Friday afternoon after Plaga Mincha. Mi Bedlat, have you abstained from work? That is, are you stopping work now and accepting Shabbos on yourself? Ama Le Ein Badilna, and Rav replied, Yes, I have abstained. Velo Amar and Reb Yirmiya Bar Abba did not say, Mi Badilmar has master ab abstained. And did Rav actually abstain uh, after praying? Ba'amar Rabbi Yavin, Rabbi Yavin said, Pa'amachat hipalel Rabbi Shel Shabbat be'erev Shabbat. One time Rabbi prayed, Mariv of Shabbos, on the eve of Shabbos, that is on Friday afternoon. Ve'nichnas l'merchat v'yatza. And afterwards he entered the bathhouse and exited. Ve'shanalan pirkin and taught us our lesson. Ba'dayin lo chashcha. And it had not yet become dark. So the fact that he entered the bathhouse after doing Mariv, uh, we see that praying Mariv does not obligate one to refrain from labor. Um, that's a very big question. Ama Rava Rava said, That was where he entered the bathhouse to steam bath, and it was before the rabbinical decree of to the prohibition of using a steam bath on Shabbos. Any, is this so that after reciting Shabbos evening prayer um, on Friday afternoon you can't do any more work? Baha Abai Shara Leila Ravdimi Bar Levi Lechvuraye Sale, but Abai permitted Ravdimi Bar Levi to sulfurate baskets um, after Shabbos evening prayer done on a Friday afternoon. Hahu to uta havai. That was a diff. That was different. Rav Dimi did it in era to uta. It was an era by Rav Dimi. And Rav had willingly accepted himself from doing Shabbos. Uh, accepted upon himself Shabbos early. Vete uta mi hadra, uh, and is acceptance of Shabbos 
uh, and making an error is making an error reversible. Hadra. amar avijan, but avijan said, pamachat nit ba'avim. Once on Shabbos afternoon, the sky was thick with clouds. Kis forim ha'am lomar hashecha hu, and the people thought to say that thought that it was night time. V'nichnes or levet ha'knesset v'hit palalu shel motza e Shabbat be Shabbat So they entered the shul and prayed Mariv at the conclusion of Shab of Shabbos, and it was actually on Shabbos. Vinit Pazru He Avim Vezaha Hachama and afterwards the clouds dispersed and the sh- and the sun shine and the sun shone through and the people understood that they made an error. Ovau Veshalo et Rabbi they came came and asked Rabbi uh, where they need to say Mariv again. The Amar Hoil Vihitpalil Hitpalilu and he said once they have prayed, they have prayed. This uh, goes to show that Mariv prayer recited early in era still counts as a prayer. Uh, Now, there is another further Gemara answer. Shani Tzibur de lo matar chinan lehu, a congregation is different. We do not trouble a co- an entire congregation to pray again. Amar Rabbi Chiyabar Avin, Rabbi Chiyabar Avin said, Rav Tali shall Shabbat be Erev Shabbat, Rav prayed uh, Mariv Shabbos on the eve of Shabbos. Rabbi Yoshia Metzale shall Motzei Shabbat be Shabbat, Rabbi Yoshia prayed uh, uh, the Conclusion Mariv of Shabbos on Shabbos. Rav Tzali shall Shabbat be Erev Shabbat. Rav prayed Mariv Shabbos on the Eve of Shabbos. Omer Kedusha al Hakos or Eno Omer Kedusha al Hakos. So can one who recites Kiddush over a cup of wine um, immediately after praying Mariv, even though it's not yet night, or can he not recite Kiddush over a cup? Tashma, come and learn. Damar Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. Rav Nachman said in the name of Shmuel, Nid Palel Adam Shel Shabbat Be'er Shabbat. A person may recite, may recite Mariv of Shabbos on the eve of Shabbos. But Omer Kedusha Al Hakos, and he may recite Kiddush over a cup. The Hilchata Kevate, and the Halacha follows this view. Rabbi Yoshia Metzale Shel Motza E Shabbat Be Shabbat. Rabbi Yoshia prayed uh, Mariv of the conclusion of Shabbos on Shabbos. Omer havdalah alakos, and he said havdalah over a cup of wine immediately after Mariv, and yet it was not yet night. Or eno omer havdalah alakos, or may he not recite havdalah over a cup? Tashma, come and learn. De ama ravio de ama shmuel for ravio de said in the name of Rabbi Shmuel. Mit palel adam shel motza e shabbat be shabbat. A person can pray Mariv of Shabbat. At the conclusion of Shabbos on Shabbos, the Omer Havdala Al Hakos, and he can recite Havdala over a cup. Ama Rabbi Zera, Ama Rabbi Asi, Ama Rabbi Elaza, Ama Rabbi Chanina, Ama Rav. Rabbi Zera said in the name of Rabbi Asi, who said in the name of Rabbi Elaza, who said in the name of Rabbi Chanina, who said in the name of Rav. Betzad Amud Zehit Palel Rabbi Yishmael Ber Rabbi Yossi Shel Shabbat Be Erev Shabbat. On this side of the pillar, Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yossi, prayed Mariv of Shabbos on the eve of Shabbos. No different version. Ki Ata Ula Ama Betzad Temara Hava. And when Ula came, he said it was at the side of a date tree, not the side of a pillar. Velo Betzad Amud Hava, and it was not the side of a pillar. Belo Rabbi Yishmael be Rabbi Yossi Hava, and it was not Rabbi Yishmael the son of Rabbi Yossi. Ela Rabbi Elazar be Rabbi Yossi Hava, rather it was a Rabbi Elazar the son Rabbi Elazar, the son of Rabbi Yossi. Velo Shel Shabbat be Erev Shabbat Hava, and it was not Mariv of Shabbos on the eve of Shabbos. Ela Shel Motzei Shabbat be Shabbat Hava, rather it was Mariv at the conclusion of Shabbos on Shabbos. 
just gonna scroll down. <coughs> so we are um, in the middle of the middle section. Uh, uh, at the word after the two dots, it says Tfilat Ha'erev. So the Mishnah states, Tfilat Ha'erev, Ein Lakeva, the evening prayer has no fixed time. My Ein Lakeva, what does it mean it has no fixed time? Ilay Mata'iba, Ibetzale, Kulye, Kule, Lelia, if you say that, uh, that if one wishes he may pray Mariv the entire night, Litzni, Litzni Erev, Kolalala, let the Mishnah say clearly, the evening prayer may can be said all night. Ela, my Ein La Keva, rather, what is, it has no fixed time. Kaman de Amad Tfilat Arvit, Reshut, in accordance with the one who says that the evening prayer is elective. Dama Ravio, Dama Shmuel for Ravio, that said in the name of Shmuel, Tfilat Arvit, about Mariv prayer. Rabban Gamliel, Omer Chova, Rabban Gamliel says it's compulsory. Rabbi Yosha, Omer Reshut, and Rabbi Yosha says it's elective. Amar Rabbi Yerabai said, Halacha kedivreha omer chova, the halacha follows the opinion of one who says that it's compulsory. Verava Amar, Halacha kedivreha omer reshut, the halacha follows the opinion of one who says that it's elective. Tanu Rabbana, and the rabbis taught in a brisa, Maaseh betal mirechad sheba lifnei Rabbi Yoshua, there was an incident involving a certain disciple who came before Rabbi Yoshua, Amalo, the disciple said to him, Tfilat Arvid, Reshut Ochova, is the evening prayer elective or compulsory? Amalei Reshut, he replied, it is elective. Ba lifnei Rabban Gamliel, the same person came before Rabban Gamliel, Amalo, he said to him, Tfilat Arvid, Reshut Ochova, is the evening prayer elective or compulsory? Ama lo chova, Rabban Gamliel replied, it is compulsory. Ama lo lo Rabbi Yosho, Ama lo li reishu, to the disciple said to him, but Rabbi Yosho told, Rabbi Yosho told me it was elective. Ama lo Rabban Gamliel said to him, Hamten achi kansu baale tresim levete midrash, wait until the shield bearers, that is the Torah scholars, enter the study hall and make your question again. <coughs> When the shield bearers entered, that is, the Torah scholars came in, Ahmad, Hashoel, Veshaal, the question of the person asking the question stood up and asked the question again. Tfilat Arvit, Reshud Ochava, is the evening prayer elective or compulsory? Amalo, Rabban Gamliel Chava, Rabban Gamliel replied, it is compulsory. Amalahen, Rabban Gamliel Chachmin, Rabban Gamliel said to the sages, Kalum Yeshadam Shecholek Bedavaze, is there anyone who disputes this ruling? Amale, Rabbi Yosho, love. Rabbi Yosho said to him, no. Amalo, Rabban Gamliel said back to Rabbi Yosho, back to Rabbi Yosho, Back to Rabbi Yoshua. Ba'lo mish me shimcha amru li reishut. But in your name it was reported to me that it is elective. Amale Rabbi Gamliel said to Rabbi Yoshua, Yoshua amod al raglecha v'yaidu becha. Yoshua, stand up on your feet and let them testify against you. Amar Rab Amad Rabbi Yoshua al raglecha amar. <coughs> Rabbi Yoshua stood up. Rabbi Yoshua stood up on his feet and said, "Il male ani chay vehu met. Were I alive and he, the person asking the question, was dead, I would be able to deny this. Yachol hachay lehachish et hamet, but uh, because the living are able to contradict the dead. Vachshav sheani chay vehu chay, but now he's alive and I'm alive. Sorry, I'm alive and he's alive." Uh, how can the living contradict the living? So he has to confess that he issued the ruling. Rabban Gamliel Yoshev Doresh. Rabban Gamliel continued sitting and lecturing. Rabbi Yoshev Omed Al Raglav, and Rabbi Yoshev remained standing on his feet. Ad She Rinanu Kol Ha'am until all the people. Uh, said to themselves, or murmuring, 
uh, that uh, Rabbi Yoshua is being uh, not treated in a dignified way. But Amru le Chutzpit Hatugaman Amod and said to Chutzpit, the announcer, Stop! The Amad, and he stopped. Amre, they said, Ad Kama Netzare Venezil, how long will Rabban Gamliel go on distressing Rabbi Yoshua? The Rosh Hashanah Eshtakad Tsare on Rosh Hashanah last year, he also distressed him. Bil Chorot Bamase de Rabbi Tzadok Tsare, in the matter of the firstborn, in the incident with Rabbi Tzadok, he distressed him. Hacha Nami Tsare, he too, he distresses him. Uh, ta un abre, come, let us depose him. <coughs> Man no kimle, whom shall we appoint in, in place of him? Nok me le rabbi Yoshua, shall we appoint rabbi Yoshua? We can't do this. Bal masehu, he's involved in the incident. Nok me le rabbi Akiva, shall we appoint rabbi Akiva? Dilma anish le delayed le zechutavot. Petra Ban Gamliel will cause punishment to, to befall him, and he will die because he does not have the merit of righteous forefathers to protect him, because Rabbi Akiva came from um, people who converted. Ela Nok Mila Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria, rather let us appoint Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria. Dehu Chacham vehu Ashir vehu Ashiri le Ezra for his wife and he's wise and he is wealthy and he is the tenth generation from Ezra. <clears throat> so, Huchacham, he's wise. De'i makshe le mefarek le, so that if he is asked something, he'll be able to answer. Vehu ashir, he is wealthy. De'i it le le paluche le ve kesa af hu azal ufalach, so one is needed to deal with the house of Caesar, he too, like Rabban Gamaliel, will be able to go and deal with him. Vehu Ashiri le Ezra, and he, sorry, Vehu Asiri le Ezra, he's the tenth generation from Ezra, to eat le zechutavot velomatse anish, anishle. So he possesses the merit of righteous forefathers, and Rabban Gamaliel will be unable to cause him punishment. Atu va'amrule, so they came and said to Rabbi Lazar ben Azaria, Nicha le lemar de leheve resh metifta, is it pleasing to the master to become head of the mesifta? Ama lehu ezil, be imlich, be in she veti, he said to them, I will go and consult with the members of my household. Azal ve imlich, bid vitehu, he went and consulted with his wife. Amra Lei, she said to him.